Hi, my name is Refi Zoro and I'm working as a scientist at AIP. The title is Fast Creation of Basic Situational Awareness Picture Using Very High Resolution Imagery. We have uh, we are addressing actually climate change induced events, in uh, which case we are talking about different ones, floods, fires, and so on, which are all expected to increase in frequency, size, and intensity. Uh, this is important because disaster responders need this situation as quickly as possible to uh, achieve situation awareness and to know what to do. So they basically need to know what is going on in the area. And the fastest way to achieve this is basically by using Earth observation satellites, simply because they provide larger spatial coverage, uh, submeter spatial resolution, but also nowadays improved temporal resolution. Here on the right hand side, you have two examples of the sentinel images uh, over fires, but also of the, let's say, uh, 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 flooding areas here. So what do we do? Uh, we, we are going submit a resolution using Worldview 3 multispectral and pan images. We have pre-processing, pan sharpening uh, steps and so on. Uh, but for the analysis part, uh, we are using R to calculate a couple of indices, which helps us to identify a vegetation cover. So this is the NVDI, but also for the NVII to calculate the land cover and for the land cover, we are using the K-means clustering to create basic land cover categories and to allow the decision maker to assess the situation as quickly as possible. Uh, furthermore, we are using principal component analysis to detect moving vehicles, their speed and direction of movement, and then combine all of this information to create a uh, possibility to have a situation awareness as soon as possible. This is one output, uh, we'll give three images, uh, RGB on the left hand side that we're using actually on the analysis, all of the multispectral bands, uh, eight of them. Uh, NDVI, NDI, and K-means provide that with the categories here. So you have the vegetation cover, water cover, ground cover, for example, and also the road coverage. Uh, in the third step here, you have the moving vehicles, uh, which are uh, which are identified by these uh, moving, let's say, these, these pairs of dark and white uh, polygons. And finally, you can uh, add all of this information together to have a version picture. The same is given here uh, for another area. So vegetation, water, ground, and rounds, and as well moving vehicles are combined to uh, give you a really quick uh, GIS possibility to have a look at the situation to exclude or really to focus on some area which is of your interest. Um, as well here, uh, so this is kind of the output. So to process these images takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Of course, this can be significantly optimized to, take, uh, to parallelize it and so on. Uh, we, even with relatively simple methods, which we have seen here, and they are relatively simple, we have an output which can be re really used uh, for, for uh, achieving high level of situational awareness. What would it mean with an hourly info EO data, which is actually already a possibility? Would it mean that we have almost real-time large-scale monitoring for disaster response? Think about it. Thank you.